Hello and good morning. Welcome to LRS Fishing out on the beach. And I couldn't not come back to this beach. The last session I had on this beach, I had a prolific session. Um, it was amazing. And um, yeah, I had to come back and give it another go. Um, now baits, we're talking squid, amazing worm. Uh, they were freshly dug yesterday. I picked them up from the tackle shop guy. And um, yeah, they're top class, so I'm really pleased with them. I've got a 50 worm, and I've got some mackerel as well, so I'm just doing little combo baits and switching between. Um, rigs, it's the usual stuff. My blue rod, uh, going out way to the left, is my pulley panel. Red uh, rod, the one on the right, is heading out to the right. That is a um, one up, one down rig. And I've got a free paternoster rig. Paternoster rig, straight down the middle. Uh, just in the shallows, uh, uh, you know, just a scratching wing here, just to pick up any fish swimming around in the shallows. Um, and that's what I'm doing. Um, now, it's really funny because last time I was here, my rods, my, my, my lines and stuff were dragging way to the right. Today, they're dragging way to the left, uh, which is quite funny, really. Um, the crabs have come in. I'm, ha I'm having to change my baits like every 10 minutes. It's crazy. Um, they're just getting stripped straight away. So um, it's constantly on the go this morning. So yeah, that's all right. It is what it is. I've been here. I wanted to get here for about four, but um, well, no, so, uh, I, w I wanted to get up at four, be here for half four, but I was running about 45 minutes late. Um, my kids waking me up in the middle of the night as they do. So uh, yeah, I overslept a little bit. But I've had nothing yet. And uh, it must be coming up to about half five, quarter to six now. So um, I've been here since about 10 to five. So uh, yeah, nothing yet. But I'm just gonna put the kettle on over there because I'm really thirsty. And um, yeah. It's a beautiful morning. It's, it's a lot choppier today. Um, and the wind's picked up, so um, there's an easterly wind blowing straight into my face. So, see what happens. Good conditions for sea bass, though. Right, well, I'm going to put the kettle on, and um, hopefully I'll be able to show you a fish or two. Fingers crossed. Catch you in a bit, guys. getting there before the fish can. not looking good <laughs> this time last time I was here I had about well I'll say about five or six fish by now I've had absolutely nothing uh, the crabs are getting properly bad now uh, I'm rotating my baits every five to six minutes it's yeah it's not good but never mind I'm gonna keep on going it's a beautiful day, it really is an absolutely glorious day. It's coming to about seven o'clock now. Just drinking myself a nice brew. Well, hot chocolate to be precise. <laughs> 
conditions are mint. So we're fishing obviously the uh, ebbing tide. I got here and the tide was ebbing off. So I'll get a few hours of the ebbing tide and then maybe an hour or two of the flood tide. It just depends on how long I can stick it out for really. I'm not just gonna waste all my bait for nothing, you know? But this blue rod, my, rod, my left hand rod, is uh, way, way, like we're talking way out. My right hand rod is not so far, and then my, my, my uh, middle rod is a bit more closer in. Well, a lot closer in, I should say. I'm happy to be out though, it's lovely. Beautiful sunny day, morning, absolutely gorgeous. So last time I was here, last time I was here, I was meant to show you about my sand spike, but I didn't get around to it because I was so busy catching fish. <laughs> so this is it basically. I just cut out a, a thing here from a, that's a hole going there like that. See that? Just, yeah. It does the job, saves me, because I used to just rest it in between the two uh, rods on there, but it used to just interfere with the rods. It used to really annoy me. So I believe I, like, I've actually, I, I um, bought a new shed and I found that in my old shed. I don't know why, because I don't know, I'd have no use for it. I don't know why it was there. But anyway, is what it is. But yeah, look at it. Plastic bag, people. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but it was stuck on my lead. It's not gonna be my day today, I think. Oh dear.
mass. <laughs> How about that? Oh, I'm so pleased. I am so pleased. <laughs> anything. Come on then. Right, let's get him back. Here he is guys. Yes. Not a bad size. Well, I'm gonna get him back. I'm just gonna let him rest. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. There he is, there he is. I didn't flank! Yes! I'm really pleased because I didn't think it was gonna after catching that plastic bag, I didn't think it was gonna um, it was gonna work for me. And I just noticed while I was talking over there, my rod, my line went over there, so he must have tripped my grip lead out and gone on the little run now and I missed the bike. Oh, yes! Come on! I'm pleased, I'm very pleased. Fingers crossed the fish will start moving in then. If there's one bass there, there's gonna be another. Right, I'm gonna get this rebaited and catch another fish. Hopefully. <laughs> something oh what is that oh yes get in there baby smooth hound Get the prize on it. I have to get the prize on it. There you go. Feisty little fella. Quality. Letting him recover. Oh, he's ready, he's gone. There he is. There he is. Haha, -ha, yes. Oh, there he is, swimming on the surface. Haha, -ha, get in. <laughs> That's awesome. So how about that then to finish off then? A nice little smooth hound. I was not expecting it to be honest with you. Talk talk about last knockings. Literally it was my last rod. Uh, packing it away and um, there you go I had a smooth hound only a pup I know that it was only small but hey I don't care it was wicked um, so again thank you for watching our wrist fishing I really appreciate it guys see you on the next one